Hey Geeks, Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to try and address a problem that says your system requires SMB2 or higher. Typically this is on Windows 10. It's also a pretty easy fix, but there's a couple of steps. We're going to take them step by step, even though you probably don't need them. First thing to do is we're going to open PowerShell and copy and paste this line right here. Okay, right click, copy. And go to the Windows key and X. Do PowerShell admin. And control V that text we highlighted. What this is going to tell you is whether it's enabled or not. And as you can see, it says it's false. So if yours says true, you can skip the next step. You can actually enable it by typing this line in. So once again, right below the screenshot. And I use this in the background because A, I linked to it in the article if you need to check it out. And B, because uh, there's no way I'm going to know how to copy and paste this type of stuff. So where were we? Oh yeah, control V and you're looking for this message right here. Go ahead and click Y. And now we should be able to once again, verify before we move forward that we did enable it. And you're looking for a response of true. There it is. So now we got that, we can close PowerShell. That's all we're doing was just making sure we're enabled here. Now. The next thing to do is to download the files. A lot of times they're not downloaded by default. Something could have changed, I don't know. So press your Windows key plus S or if you have search already here. And if you start typing in, turn features on and off, I think you only have to get as far as turn. And there's turn Windows features on or off. Go ahead and click that. And we wanna scroll on down as you can see here, we're looking for SMB 1.0, it's right here. You shouldn't even need to expand it, but I'll just show you. If you click on that, it automatically clicks everything underneath it. So just click this one box right here, click OK. And then Windows is gonna download some files for you. And once that's finished, your error message should be gone following your reboot. That's it, pretty easy to do. And at any skill level too, you can't do much damage here with PowerShell. It's one of the many that I like where if you bump into this error message, it's not that difficult to go ahead and play around with PowerShell. You can't really hurt much here. So as always, I got to do the old, there's a little logo down here, Major Geeks. You click on him, you subscribe. We appreciate that. We thank you for all the likes, comments. I try and re read and respond to them all when I can. But either way, thanks for watching. Hopefully we'll see you again soon.